Yo guys, what is going on? It's Aram here and today I'm going to be showing you how to download Valorant on PC. Now if you're new around here, please make sure to go subscribe, I've got a lot of cool tutorials on how to download games, also some future tutorials such as Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Remastered coming out soon so stay tuned for that so make sure to subscribe with notification bells on so you're alert when I make that new upload. And also, I also appreciate all the support I've been getting as well, especially people that I've been helping out who are having issues with any games. For example, Call of Duty Warzone, I know some people had some issues trying to download it and I've helped them as much as I can. So if you have any issues with Valorant, let me know in the comments or in the uh, contact details in my description below uh, and I'll help you as much as I can. So hey guys, let's get into the video. So what you want to do first is go onto your browser and you just want to type Valorant. Then you want to see the first link Valorant Riot Games Competitive 5v5 Character Based dot 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 or and you'll see beta dot player variant dot com. I'm going to click on this first link. And here you'll see two options to make a Riot account or to sign in with your Riot account. So, so set up your Riot account or sign in. So once you have set up your account, you'll see you'll see this bit here saying check your status. Say because you just made a new account, you will not be in the beta straight away. So this is how to get into the beta. So you want to click check your status. And then you'll have three steps in order to get into the beta program. So first, we'll be connecting your Riot account with Twitch. So this means you'll be needing a new Twitch account if you don't have one already in order to link your account for the first step. So you just want to click on link accounts. And then here you'll see login to Twitch or sign up for Twitch. So if you do not have Twitch, you want to set up your Twitch account. And, or if you do have a Twitch account, you just want to sign in quickly to your Twitch account. And once you have signed into your account, you'll see here you'll be already on the settings page and then onto connections. So if this page did not load up straight away for you, you just want to click on your uh, profile picture. And then here you see settings and then you can click connections and you should see Riot Games right there. So you just want to click connect. Then a new window should come up and then you're going to click authorize. And once that is done, you should see right here that it says right your Riot account is connected. So you can close this page off. So now the second step is to watch a Valorant stream. So this involves a, a stream that has the tag drops enabled because in order to get access to Valorant, you will need to be watching a Twitch stream that has the tag drops enabled in order for you to get a chance of winning a Valorant drop key. This means that you will need to watch one stream at a time. You cannot swap over. I might decrease the chances that I've said in the forms. So we're watching one stream at a time and being patient for a drop to come through. This may take you a while, you may have to be patient for this. Um, it may take you quite a few days, it might take you actually one day. So it's all on look, I guess. So that is how to get a key from Valorant. So once you get a Valorant drop, you should get a notification and then you should be able to click on that notification and it should be linked to your account. And that means your account is uh, verified and has access to Valorant. So once you get, get that key, uh, you, you should be able to do step three, which is download and play Valorant. You're going to click download and then click save file and then wait for that to download. And once that is downloaded, you should see Riot Games appear on screen and you just want to wait for that to set up. So this part is just for the launcher. So at the bottom you see advanced options. This is just a file location of where you're downloading the launcher for Valorant. So you just want to click install. This is just to download the launcher. And once that download has completed and has set up fully, you should see the Valorant launcher um, here right here. And you just want to click on you just want to sign in with your Riot account. So you need to make sure that your account is verified full access to Valorant in order to actually get access. Because if you do not have access to uh, Valorant yet or have not completed the step, so if you have not um, watched the stream or actually got a drop yet, you will not have access. It will not let you sign in. If I show you right now, uh, it will not let you sign in. Uh, as you can see right here, it will just say unable to sign in as I have not got access to the account. So you need to make sure that your account is verified fully in order for you to get access to Valorant. But once you have got Valorant, you should be able to start downloading and installing Valorant which is 7.9 gigabytes. And that is how to get Valorant on PC. Thank you so much for watching, please make sure to like, subscribe and comment. If you have any issues, let me know in the comments and I'll help you as much as I can. So you yeah guys, take care and peace.